Now, although the excess deaths are maybe one of the lowest in the world, they're still probably higher than you would expect after a pandemic when a lot of vulnerable people would have died and therefore your excess death rate should be in the negative and they're not in the negative. So that means that they are still higher than you would expect. And I've been to Sweden and given lectures there and spoken to cardiologists and they are seeing these vaccine injuries. So why is Sweden doing better? As I said earlier, a lot of the vulnerabilities to vaccine injuries are people who had poorer baseline health, the same people who are vulnerable to COVID. Um, a lot of the excess deaths are still also in the, pay, in, the, in the countries which had high obesity rates. So looking at COVID, uh, and let's not underestimate or forget about this, 90% of the deaths globally from COVID happened in countries where more than half the population were overweight or obese. And when you understand the mechanism of harm of the vaccine, which is basically increasing inflammation in the body systemically for a number of months, if you've already got a baseline problem, of a little bit of chronic inflammation, it's just going to make it worse. So it makes sense from a biological perspective why people who are also vulnerable to COVID are also more vulnerable to vaccine injuries. And Sweden's baseline health is a lot healthier. 